excited today, guys, because Budget Girl tagged me in the Baby Steps with the Debt Free Community tag. So let's do this. Hi, friends. I'm Jen with the Budget Bounce. We are living life on a budget, fighting our way through a $250,000 mountain of stupid debt. We follow Dave Ramsey's baby steps and are currently on baby step number two. Kelly over at Freedom in a Budget started this tag a few weeks ago and it has made its way around the personal finance YouTube space. She tagged Budget Girl who then tagged me in her own video last week when she posted it. And they are both now debt free and they are well past baby step three with their fully funded emergency funds. They are living in baby step number seven today. And their stories are so inspiring. If you have not, you or watched any of their videos yet, you need to make sure that you check them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put their links up here in the corner. I'm also gonna go ahead and put them down in the description box for you. I've listed all of the participating channels down below in the description box, but I'm also gonna go ahead and put a link up here in the card to a playlist that I've created that has all of them in one place for you. You'll want to make sure that you check out their videos and if you like what you see, check out more of their channels because they're everybody out here has a lot to offer. All right, so let's jump into the questions. The first one is, how did you hear about Dave Ramsey and what did you initially think about him? So the way that I found out about him was actually, I was single, um, this was many years ago, it was 2004, I was visiting my sister and her family for the weekend, and when I got there, I noticed that they had this book called The Total Money Makeover laying on their county counter, so I asked him about it, and uh, John, her husband, told me a little bit about, you know, what it was and that kind of thing, and he said, if you'd like to borrow it, I encourage you to read it, and they sent it home with me. So I bring it home and it sits. It sits and collects dust for like the next several months. <laughs> and so I, my initial thought was, you know, oh yeah, that's interesting. I'll read it whenever I, whenever I get around to it. And it wasn't until it was six or seven months later before I read it. So once I read it though, um, I gotta say it was really eye-opening and I realized that I was who he was talking to. And um, it just really, really opened a whole new world to me. And um, it wasn't very long after that that I found an FPU, a Financial Peace University class that I started attending, and that was all she wrote. So that was my first experience with Dave Ramsey. The next question is, what is the cra craziest advice that you have ever, that someone has ever given you that you had to shrug or laugh off? So... Way back before I found Dave Ramsey, I had a coworker try to convince me that I should use credit to invest in the stock market. I should like take out a loan or use my credit cards to buy stock and invest in the in the stock market. I did not fall for it then, and I'm certainly not going to fall for it now that I know so much more. I'm a lot older and have a lot more life behind me, but more than that, I've learned so much through this debt-free community and my time with um, FPU and reading and listening to Dave Ramsey and that kind of thing. So no, I'm not going to fall for that. So the next question is, what is the hardest place you've had to give up shopping at or eating out at or eating at? For us, collectively as a family, it was eating out. We ate out all the time. So before everything came to a head and and we went on a budget on February 1st of 2018, um, earlier this year, I actually had the foresight when I started 2017 to start tracking and like basically every, I'd always tracked every uh, transaction that we had through our checking account, but I actually started assigning it a category in the spreadsheet that I had. So when 2017 was over, I had all this data that I could do analysis on, and I had no idea we were going to do what we did in 2018, because at the beginning of 2017, I didn't know my husband was going to get sick and not work for 10 months. I did not see that coming, and it was just such a blessing that I decided to do that for 2017. So when 2018 came and I was getting ready to put us on a budget, I was trying to figure out how much are we spending, and I was just 
appalled really when I did our food when I looked at just all food, this is groceries, this is eating out, everything that ran through the checking account, we averaged for three of us, me, Matt, and Henry, who was a teenager, but still, there's only three of us, we averaged $1,100 per month for food. And probably 700 of that was eating out. That's how much we ate out all the time, all the time. So that was the first thing that had to go. And now our budget is, we're spending at least $100 a month on dining out. Um, we've gone up as high as $150. And I try to keep it around $100 if I can. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's much improved over what it was. For sure, eating out was our, our biggest thing that we had to give up. The next question is, what baby step are you on and how long have you been there? So we started our life on a budget on February 1st, 2018. So just not even nine months ago. And within about a week, we were officially on baby step two because we had our $1,000 in the savings account. So I guess that puts us about eight months or so, a little longer, that we have been on baby step two. And we started with just, just short of $250,000 in debt. And we have, at this point, um, paid off just right at around $15,000 so far. The last question is, what is something that you want to do when you are in baby step seven? So for sure, one of the biggest things that we want to be able to do is travel. And we want to be able to give to charitable causes that mean a lot to us. So we are most interested in supporting causes and organizations that are supporting children and animals. So we will do something in that arena. And then as far as um, traveling goes, we really, if we can, you know, find the time and if we, if we find true financial independence, we love to invest in a really nice RV and go around the country and do a couple of different things. First of all, we want to see all of our national parks and all of the things that that are the United States of America that, you know, we just would love to be able to see them and document them and, and do all that kind of stuff. Another thing is we're big um, NFL and Major League Baseball fans. So we want to go watch as many baseball games and football games as we can. And even some college games, some college football games would be awesome. Another, another dream that we have that probably Baby Step 7 won't be enough to do this unless we make a lot more money is we want to have a fully independently funded shelter for all types of animals. We'll start with domestics, you know, that we're familiar with, dogs and cats and rabbits and things like that. But we really, we want to own like a compound where out in the countryside with acres and acres where we can, we can offer a home to an unlimited number of animals who need help. And, you know, hopefully we can turn it into a rescue where others can um, come and find their their uh, lifetime pets, excuse me, their give give these these animals a forever home, I guess. And we'd really like to be able to do that. But that would take a really big windfall, like winning the lottery or something completely different has has to happen with our income because there's no way we can do an independently funded organization like that. So that's it for the baby steps with the debt free community tag. I am going to tag Deidre over at Slay This Debt and Becky over at Becky6066. So I'll link their channels down below so that you can go check them out and then you can uh, subscribe to them and watch for them to post their videos. And don't forget to check out all the other channels that participated. Again, I've got that list down below. I will also put the link to the playlist down below in the description box. And thank you so much, Kelly, for starting this tag. I really had a good time answering these questions and really thinking about it and sharing with, with the Budget Bounce community and anyone else who has come by to check us out. That's all I've got for you this time. So with that, I'll let you go. Until next time.